Only few days to go until the Premier League is back this weekend. Yes, the Premier League is back and that is going to be a sprint, not a marathon anymore because no more bloody international breaks and you have to play games after game all the time. So it's going to be very interesting to see how good or bad Chelsea are going to be. Um, I don't know about you, but kind of don't miss Chelsea during this international break because I've been doing a lot of uh, watch-alongs, call-in shows every single day for international games. So I kind of took my mind a little bit away from Chelsea uh, because this season is a season to forget. <laughs> you know what I mean? But before, when you are winning games, you just don't want international break to come right because you want to continue the momentum but anyways if you want to help the channel my friend very simple subscribe like put your notification on uh, all the good stuff comment down below let's have a conversation okay uh don't take everything seriously this is sport nobody's making money <laughs> only players and managers are making money man don't take it too serious. My name is Oogs, your own brother, and today we are going to discuss um, about some random topics in the Chelsea community. Starting by this one, according to report, Arsenal are set uh, to a bidding war over sporting Lisbon star Usman Diomande after matching Chelsea's offer ahead of summer transfer window so apparently chelsea offered 55 million and arsenal already matched that uh, price and the same report if you read are saying that arsenal are ahead of chelsea and usman diomande will prefer to go to arsenal i don't blame him because the project at chelsea right now is not really known if we go face to face with Arsenal in terms of money, Chelsea might beat them. But in terms of project, Arsenal are already in the latest stage of their development. It's time to deliver. It's time to start winning trophies. And Chelsea is still in the stage of baby, <laughs> infant, baby stage, because we need to... We need to go through the whole process, kindergarten, a lot of kids and all that. But Arsenal, they've been together for six years. Arteta had time to change the players that he doesn't want and bring some new players. And, and they understand perfectly what Arteta is demanding from them. So let me know if uh, you think Chelsea are going to win this race or you think Diomande is going to choose to go to Arsenal. Let's move on very quickly. Uh, Bayern Leverkusen put a price on my brother, Victor Boniface. Everybody knows that I'm a big fan of this guy. If I have to choose between the two Victors, two of my brothers from Nigeria, Victor Boniface and Victor Osimhen, I would take Boniface. That is a personal choice. It has nothing to do with heading somebody or blah, 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 blah. It's just the way it is. I would prefer to go for Boniface because of his style. I love the style of play from this brother. And um, I think he participated to the game more. I see more Drogba in him than Victor Osimhen, who will score you goals, which is very important. But other phases of the game, I'm not too convinced. And I was waiting for him in big big games like African Cup of Nations. You know, Nigeria want and need you right now. He let them down. Uh, Champions League, like you are waiting for those moments, the Drogba moment. So if I'm going to pay 100 to, uh, 30 million on somebody, you need to be box office, main event. When we need you, you are there to bail us out with one goal from nowhere. So, Victor, Chelsea need to jump on this opportunity. Because, uh, let's say Sesco, right? 
Benjamin Sesko is going to cost about 50 million. And if Victor Boniface is going to cost about 5 million more, I will put 5 million more to get this killer instead of another kindergarten guy who will come and, and need time to adapt and learn. Less risk because if uh, many Chelsea fans are giving hard time to people like Raheem Sterling or let's say Mikhailo Modric or Enzo Fernandez because they cost a lot of money. Anybody that didn't cost that kind of money, people just understand, huh, yeah, you get what you pay for. So if we you pay around 60 million for a striker, I'm okay with that because he's coming less than what we usually spend and it's not gonna be a lot of pressure so let's wait and see what's gonna happen on this one but victor boniface is my choice let me move to victor osiman uh the interest from chelsea are really really concrete interest but everything is gonna depend on the financial fair play Fabrizio Romano said just this morning that he's not really very sure. He's sure that Chelsea want him and he wants to come to Chelsea. But when it comes to the financial fair play, Chelsea can't afford to pay that kind of money without selling a lot of players. So let's wait and see what's going to happen on this one. And uh, Jan Madsen, some report came out to say that uh, Bayern Munich would like to sign him if Alfonso Davis leaves for Real Madrid. That tells you the quality uh, from this guy. But according to Romano, he hasn't really heard much about the deal. So let's wait and see what is going to happen from Jan Madsen. I, I read the guy, to be honest with you. Everybody knows about it. But Chelsea decides to get rid of him, get rid of Lois Hall and go for somebody else. I don't make decisions. We have just to accept what the club is imposing us. Okay. Kano Galaga, oh man. I I'm sick and tired of talking about this guy already. Make your decision. You don't want him, sell him, and get your perfect players. And let's see how that perfect player is going to make Chelsea great again. Uh, I'm sick and tired. You get the hit. Every time you tell the truth about this guy, you are in big, big, big trouble. For example, he might have the same statistics with another player, but people will praise that player to death, right? But if you try to, to talk about the same statistics, and then people hate you because it's Conor Gallagher, you know? So I I am sick and tired of talking about it. It is what it is. Uh I don't make decisions. I wanted to show you some statistics that came out this morning. All right. So you see this Victor Gikores, right? He won more possession in attacking third more times. 38 times more than any other players in La Liga, right? People are going crazy. He's the, the next coming of Jesus Christ. Conor Gallagher, the same statistics, he doesn't score many goals because he's not a striker. He's not put in the position of scoring goals, of course. But the same statistics here. Gallagher is getting more balls in the final third than anybody in the five big leagues in Europe. But it doesn't count because it's Gallagher. The same statistic with another player, it's going to be break the bank, bring him at any cost. I don't care about how much money you're going to cost. He's going to cost to the club or you're going to pay him. Break the bank because Galadino da Silva is the best thing since Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> okay, so this is a scandal. Moises Caicedo and Kendry Pius been investigated for some uh, you know nightclubs in new york city there are reports going on trending at the moment um and of course moises caicedo cost 115 million so they have to put in the title 115 million and 
Kendry Pius still 16 years old. So apparently he was taken to a nightclub. Uh, I, I don't want to say, you can read here, nightclub with uh, women compromising, you know, a compromising uh, clothes and all that. I don't want to say it on YouTube because it might be blocked. YouTube might interpret it as if you are promoting something not good because this is a family channel but they took him to those ladies apparently in new york and they spent a lot of money um they took uh, 17 million chelsea wonder kid kendry pie 16 years old to go that is illegal in america <laughs> he can't even buy a beer or anything but Listen, man, this is Chelsea Football Club we're talking about here. Everybody want to exaggerate when it comes to Chelsea. And we have to be very careful about this kind of report. Uh, lies always come very, very fast. But the truth is going to come slowly and surely. So let's wait and see what's going to happen on this one. And Moises Caicedo, I think he's a very religious guy. I don't think that he's going to go to those kind of clubs and women and all that. But if this is true, it's huge. It's huge because it's Chelsea and it's, it's involved a 16 years old and also involved a 115 million <laughs> price tag player in Moises Caicedo. Let's wait and see what is going to happen. Don't forget to follow your brother. Your brother always follows people back. You know, you follow me and then I'll follow you back. I am on Twitter, Green Turf. I am on Instagram, the same name. I am on TikTok. I am on Facebook trying to get to, to social media here and there because I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. But because of what I do, I have kind of to be there. <laughs>